everyone, I am Betts Gold, and thank you so much for joining me in today's video in which I discuss a few of my favorite things that I have found in 2019. There is about 10 items on this, and I have to tell you that not all of these are necessarily brand new to the craft industry in 2019. There are just a few things that I have discovered or I've rediscovered and I've enjoyed using once again. I'm first going to go over some of the things with the mixed media, and then we're going to get into some of the paper crafting stuff. The first thing is this rinse well. Um, and this is basically a place where you can rinse your paintbrushes. Comes with a very nice size bottle type deal. I can't even talk right now. Um, and you fill it up with water, flip it over. You can take your brushes. You can rinse off your brushes. There's scrubbies in the bottom of it like so. I'm going to just clean around the edges right there, right? And then when you want fresh water, because this gets dirty, you click this little button. It releases down all the water, fills it up with nice clean water, and then you can take your brush and put it off into this little dot over here, and you can let it dry. So this is something that sits on my desk, and I use it all of the time. So I do have links that are provided down below to the stores in which you can find these items, but I will have a more detailed list over on my blog, so make sure you check that out as well. The next thing up is Mod Podge Ultra. I don't know if you guys have tried this yet, but this stuff is the bomb. It is not only a glue, it is a sealer, and you can use it as your pore medium. It comes in two sizes, eight ounces and four ounces in two different uh, finishes, a gloss and a matte. What I like about it is you can spray, you shake it up really well, spray it down on something. If you wanna use it as a, as a glue, go ahead and place the substrates together, walk away, let it dry. I have used this on ceramic, tile, um, little bits of rocks glitter oh my gosh it works fabulous on glitter so this is a really great product what makes it really special when it seals is there is no brush marks like you get on a regular mod podge how cool is that and if you want to use it as a pore medium you're going to use one part paint one part uh, three parts of your mod podge ultra and uh, I love it for that because again since it is a glue and a sealer you can pour it on anything and it holds and it just pours beautifully pours better than any other pour medium I've ever used even the stuff that has been created to be a pour medium so this is a must-have in your mixed media arsenal all right next up and the last thing that I kind of have right now with a mixed media um, is going to be the six by six Dina Wakely art journal I really love Love this journal because it has fabulous paper in it it's like a cotton paper super super strong durable watercolor and I have gone ahead and I have really used a lot of paint on this I've used collaging on it I've used tissue paper gel mediums to hold everything down I have used um, scribble sticks on it nothing falls apart nothing seeps through to the other side it is fantastic I mean look how much color is right there and boom you can't even see it on the other side how fabulous is that so this is my very favorite journal. I hope that she comes out with one that's a little bit bigger next time, though I am enjoying this size. But it is so much fun, and I have really loved playing in this, and I can't wait to get more to do. All right, so now let's move on into the things that every paper crafter, card maker, you know, scrapbook, or things like that would like. And the first thing up is a Make Art Station. I love this thing. First of all, these... They don't pinch. Do you know how many times I have pinched my fingers on magnets for platforms? Basically, you line up your paper like so. So let me get a piece of paper. We'll just do a demo real quick. And I'm going to line it up with my grid lines like so. You're going to place a magnet to hold it all in place. And then you're gonna take your ruler and you're gonna go, hmm, I want it to be about a half inch up. So you just line up your ruler like so, and then you're going to stamp whatever it is you wanna stamp, which leads me into the fourth thing that I'm in love with this year, and that is these little mini archival inks. They're the distress ones. Uh, I love them because they're mini and they are permanent. So they are waterproof and they're not going to move once you get them wet, as you'll see, because we're gonna do something on top of this. So I'm going to just stamp um, Hang Loose Dude and I'm going to do this with um, 
let's do the barnyard the barn door and then also the mermaid lagoon I love these they uh, they're permanent because they're archival ink right but they're also these beautiful vibrant colors you can't get any better than that so I just placed that right there for perfect placement and then I'm gonna go ahead and do the hang loose in my barn door red <coughs> pardon me up above it like so I get perfect placement and I don't have to worry about ruining my card because it's perfectly placed so these are wonderful especially when you're working with wet ink or inks that are highly pigmented that water react these things are great because you can stamp over them or under them and they're not going to move which leads me into my fifth thing so my fifth thing that i am totally in love with is actually another ink and that is the katherine pooler minis now real estate in my scrapbooking room is super important to me in my craft room okay uh, if i don't have a place to store it uh, it's really hard pressed for me to buy it and I have wanted to buy these little mini party collection this this party collection line ever since they came out when I first saw them a couple years ago but the ink pads are so big I'm like I just don't have the room for it so she came out with little minis what makes Catherine Pooler ink so special and what I like about them is the ink pad is a foam ink pad it is super juicy it literally takes two little taps and you're going to get a very nice coverage so let me show you what I'm talking about with that so on another piece of paper I'm just going to take and we're going to stamp out a couple uh, images um, actually not a couple we're gonna do a surfboard and then I'm gonna show you how you can even ink blend with it so I am gonna use a um, foam pad for this to stamp on and I'm gonna stamp this surfboard right here and I'm going to do it in the lime rickety and the tiara so I'm just going to actually no I'm gonna do it in tutti frutti <laughs> So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to tap this on like so and then I'm just going to take, press it on my paper, pretty good impression. I didn't press down all the way on that side which is okay and if you're noticing I am using uh, both sides of my acrylic block. And then for this one, I'm just going to, again, just some light tapping is all it takes. And I'm going to just line this up. Now for this, I normally would use my uh, plat uh, the platform, but we'll just eyeball it. All right. So there we go. Now the Lime Rickety is a super, super, light color but it does a beautiful job stamping you also can do blending with it which is the next thing i'm going to do which leads me into another one of my favorite things this year which is these oh my god they're the dome applicators what makes these different than a regular applicator they're domed so you're not going to get any harsh lines when you blend and you can use them on your traditional blending tool you don't have to go out and buy anything else for that so it's super cool now when you blend you don't want to use just any ink on this because you will lose some of your lines to avoid that just simply turn it over and use the back or you can do what i'm doing right here and just blend on a piece of um fabric uh, uh, craft mat so i already have some more to here done and let's go ahead and just do a couple of these colors right here so I'm gonna do Tierra Aquatina and something borrowed and so I'm just gonna take and load up my ink pad and just start blending it all right on through just like that it blends beautifully there's absolutely no harsh lines at all 
and then let me go ahead and pop this off. Let's do the Aquatina next. This one's Aquatina. I would store these in the bottom, but uh, they don't fit down here, which is fine. I love, love, love these blending tools. I actually kind of like these better than the brushes. I know, I know. And you can go ahead and just start off the page and then just start blending on through like so. So pretty. So they blend beautifully. All right, and then we're going to end with something borrowed. And we'll even get a, a little squirt of water so you can see how it maneuvers with that. So for this one, just going to go ahead and just blend that on through like this. So these Catherine Puller inks are not only fantastic, for stamping, but also for blending. All right, and now let me just take a little bit of water and you can just see how it reacts with the water. When you do this though, I'm not, I hate to say this, I'm not an advocate of re-inkers, but for this particular ink, you really do need a re-inker. All right, so I'm just gonna take and just flick some of that water on just to give some fun water drops. There we go. That's going to sit there and react. And boom, check that out. Isn't that gorgeous? So much fun. Okay, so moving on from there, you already have kind of seen a peek out of something else that I'm really into right now. It's uh, another one of my top, a few of my favorite things. And again, there are 10 that I'm working with today. One of which that I'm gonna show you at the very end is going to be surprising to you, but I think that you are going to be super, super excited to learn this information. Uh, because the thing I'm going to tell you is actually a replacement for something else that's very popular right now, but it's hard to find and they're out of stock often. And I'm going to show you something that does the same thing. And you can find it on Amazon. How cool is that? All right, so we're going to set that aside. I'll probably finish this card up with the stamping that I'm going to do. The next thing that I want to show you is my the new Simon Hurley stamps. These things I love. I first saw dudes at the Creativation 2019 show. Not sure if it was the it, new out this year, but he did come out with this line, which is the Surfs Up. Now, what makes this so fantastic is that not only are they just super cute, but the heads are interchangeable. So you can put that head on that body or that head on that body, so on and so forth, which really, really gives you a wonderful diversified field to use your stamps. And who doesn't like that? So you can get a whole bunch of bang for your buck. I've already used out of this one, the, um, hang loose. And then I use the dude out of this one on that card, this that I'm creating right here. And now I am going, and the surfboard was out of this one, so now I'm gonna create my little surfer dude, and I'm gonna use this surfer body and this head. Let me show you how easy this is, you guys. This is so easy. So we're just gonna use the same foam pad again. I am gonna use some Simon Says Intense Black ink. Um, it is a dye ink that is good for alcohol, so it is safe for alcohol, which is the next thing I'm gonna show you, which is another one of my favorites. So I'm just gonna ink this up and place him about there. And then for the little head, I'm gonna use this dude. And I'm just gonna make sure that I line him up fairly well right on that neck. And now I have a custom body, a custom little guy that has been created specifically for my project. And I was able to intermix the two different um, 
stamp sets, which I think is awesome. So the next thing that is on my list, and we're coming almost to the end after this, I'm going to show you that, uh, that other thing that I really like that you're going to love. I saved kind of the most mind boggling and oh, for the end. Okay. So ninth on my list is the Spectrum Norde markers. I love these. These are tri-tip. These are tri try blend so I don't even have to think about my m matching it's all in the marker and the price point on it is really good I like to get mine through close to my heart because I can stock up on them and cash in on their specials that they have every month one of which is always 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 the stamp of the month for five dollars and so I'm just like shoot I'm gonna totally use that so how you use these is you're gonna want to color in your image first with the lightest color like so, and you guys have seen me do this before. I'm not an alcohol marker specialist by any means. I'm not an expert by any means. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go over with your medium shade and you're just gonna pop on some of that color in some of those spots. You're just gonna add a little bit more shading to it All right, and then we're going to finish it off with the darkest shade right here. And don't worry if you get it up in the hairline because you're going to do the hair. And if even if it does bleed through, you can always blend it out. That's the fun part of alcohol markers. If you get outside of the line, just take some white, um, some white pin and go go over it and you can definitely cover that back up again all right so now we have him kind of shaded in and now we're going to finish it off by going over once again with that light color and just blending it on through Like so. And now you have a cute little shaded in guy. So for the hair, I'm going to go ahead and just do the golden. Let me show you kind of real quick how I do that. So this is a golden one. I believe there's 24 colors that are offered. And again, I will have all those links provided for you to the shops down below. More detailed description in my blog post. So make sure that you check that out. All right. So that's going to be that one then we're going to do the mid-tone which is labeled mid-tone and I just when I do hair I just kind of like to go kind of crazy with it you know and then we're gonna go to the darker one like right here and for this one just kind of like to stick to the lines that have been provided for me and then I'm going to go back over it real quick with this light one the only thing that I don't like about these Spectre Nori markers they squeak but you know what that's a small price to pay for a cute little perfectly shaded in image and as you can see, I got outside of those lines, which is just fine. And right there, I have to blend that through because that was some of the skin that came through. See how I got outside the lines? That's no big deal. I'm going to show you what I can do to cover that up, and no one will even be wiser to it. So you're just going to take a jelly roll pin in white, and you're just going to go over the areas that you colored on outside the lines and that covers it up completely how cool is that all right so that's my ninth pick is the spectrum nor uh, the tri blend markers all right the last one you guys you ready to have your mind blown how many of you guys have heard of that pixie spray it's the stencil spray that re that doesn't require you to have to use purple tape or washi tape anymore you spray it on you put your stencil on 
boy do I have news for you, Etchall has pretty much the same thing called stencil spray. You can find this on Amazon and it's never sold out. So this is what you can do to use and you can't find that pixie spray. I even think it's cheaper. Sorry, not sorry. I probably have an affiliated link for the pixie spray and I don't have one for the Etchall, but you guys, you're my people. I got to save you money, even if I have to lose a little money to do so. But this is it. This is the 10th pick. It is not new to the market. It has been out for years and it does the same thing that that pixie spray does. So go check this out. I'm not sure the price point on it. I think it's cheaper than the pixie spray that is all over the place. But you guys, it does the same thing and you can use it on mirror, marble, slate, china, and glass. All you wanna do is you wanna shake it up really well, do a really quick spray, not a heavy spray or else you'll never be able to pick it up on your stencil. Real quick, once it dries a little bit to the tacky, you pop it on just like you would that pixie spray and then you can go ahead and use it the same. Wash it with a little bit of soap and water if you wanna get that residue off. Otherwise, you are good to go. I certainly hope that you enjoyed my 10 favorite things, a few of my favorite things for 2019. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Please, please, please make sure you give this a video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Uh, I love it when you guys share. If you know of anybody that could benefit from this, go ahead and do so. Not all of the links that I have provided for you down below are affiliated links. I am particularly doing this for the sole purpose of providing you with my favorite things. And not always do I have an affiliated link in which I make money off of it. So not everything down there is affiliated, but there are some that are. So I would really appreciate it. If you're interested in any of these products, you definitely check out my links. It doesn't cost you anything, but it does help keep my channel funded. Until next time, happy crafting. I'm Bets Golden.